Assalomu alaykum, hurmatli talabalar va tinglovchilar. Mirzo Ulug'bek nomidagi O'zbekiston milliy universiteti xorijiy filologiya fakulteti ingliz filologiyasi kafedrasi o'qituvchisi PhD Abdullayev Nargiz Erkinovna bugun sizlar bilan amaliy tarjima ko'nikmalari fanini olib boradi. Fanimiz 2-kurs 4-semestr uchun mo'ljallangan. Bugungi yangi mavzuimiz Translation of Technical Terms. Keling endi ruxsatingiz bilan darsni ingliz tilida davom ettirsam. What is a technical term? A term is a word or expression denoting a concept in a particular activity, job or profession. Terms are frequently associated with professionalisms. Terms can be single words, psychology, function, equity, yeah, as example, or they may consist of several words. Terms are considered to have one meaning in one field, therefore they are context-free words whose meaning does not depend, depend on the context. Contrary to this belief, terms may have more than one meaning since they can be understood differently in various schools and various technologies. For example, the grammatical term verb is considered to belong to morphology in the Russian school of linguistics, so it is translated as glagol. In Uzbek, it is fiel. In the American school of linguistics, it's often understood as a syntactical concept expressing a part of the sentence. Therefore, in this case, it corresponds to the Russian skazuyumayu in Uzbek kesam. This gives rise to the problem of term unification. A translator must be very careful about terms expressing the same notion in different languages. One notion should be designed by a single term throughout the whole text. Different fields of knowledge ascribe different meanings to one and the same term. For example, list in the publishing field corresponds to the term sheet. Author sheet. In biology, it's a leaf. In technique, it's a plate. In geology, it's lamina. Similarly, the term drive is equivalent to different Russian terms since it has different meanings in various fields as it's given in the slide. Term homonymy is sometimes due to the fact that words of general stock assume a technical meaning, thus becoming terms. Also, terms of one field are borrowed by other fields like variants and invariants were, were borrowed uh, into linguistics from mathematics. Such term homonymy challenges translation. A translator must know the exact meaning of term in this or that field as well as its combinability for the nearby attribute or another word may specify uh, the term and affect its translation. To do accurate translation, it's necessary not only to know the meaning of the terms, but also to link them with other words in speech. Erroneous words combination can cause difficulties in understanding the text. For example, the word combination prazvanitsev cannot be rendered by its calc to ring through the line. Its equivalent is to test the line. Pay attention to, the, to test the line. Therefore, translators always put high value on dictionaries containing word equivalents along with phrases and illustrating sentences. Terms in dictionaries are usually arranged in alphabetical and keyword order. To find a word combination, it's necessary to look up a keyword which is usually a noun. For example, to translate a compound term, barking machine, it is necessary to look up to the term machine. Term translation may also depend on the regional character of the language. For example, antenna corresponds to aerial in British English, to antenna in American English, vietrovestikla, windscreen, British English, windshield, American English, bagajnik, boot in British English, trunk in American one. Term uh, form depends on the people using it. Scientist Newmark uh, suggests three levels of term usage. First one is academic. This includes transferred Latin and Greek words used in academic papers. Second one is professional. It's formal terms used by experts. Third one is popular, layman vocabulary which includes familiar alternative terms. 
So in science, terms are neutral, non-expressive. Medical students feel no particular ways whatever terms they use. But when a term is transfer transferred to another register, it takes on a stylistic and emotional color coloring as well. The main ways of translating terms are seven. First one is uh, transcription. It's for loan terms. For example, display, display, algorithm, algorithm, phenomenon, phenomenon. Care should be taken not to overuse this technique. Terms may not survive in the borrowed form, as happened with the computer term hardware whose loan equivalent hardware is no longer used in computer science but has given way to its explanatory substitution. Second one is uh, transliteration. So normally terms are transliterated or transcribed when a target language lacks a certain notion and borrows it a short foreign form. Many international loan terms are of Greek or Latin origin. This facilitates mutual understanding among scientific specialists. However, when using this technique, a translator should be aware of false friends that is words similar in form but different in meaning. A translator of science text must uh, use only standard terms, avoid avoiding slang or colloquial words. So, the third way, calc, or half calc, we may use even. This technique is often applied to translating compound terms or term phrases. This translation technique, even more than transcription or transliteration, may be detrimental to the cor correctness of the meaning, for it can lead to false friends again. Transparent inner form of the word can, can cause no less trouble with translation equivalents. Fourth way is translating a word and using it as the term, for example, mouse, mush, net, set, memory, pamit. Gradually, specialists get accustomed to, the, to these terms and use them widely in speech. Next way is explicatory, descriptive translation and expansion. This technique is used for verbalizing new objects not existing in the target language. It is des desirable that the translator avoid translating a descriptive by a transliterated technical term for the purpose of showing of knowledge. The next way is reduction. It takes place when one word or a smaller number of words verbalizes a notion. To make sure that the term is standard, it is necessary to consult the dictionary as often as possible. The last way is analog substitution. So, this technique is used for receptors' convenience when corresponding similar standard terms exist in the target language. I hope you have understood all the ways of translating technical terms. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.